Take a good look at the people around you, for you are no longer just a designer. You are a member of a fashion house. So your challenge this week is not only to design a great look inspired by me, but a great look that works within your fashion house's collection. Well, I have to say, um, what is great about this idea of creating these two houses is a, how it mimics reality in that most collections are designed by teams, right? But the other thing that I think is great about this house versus house ethic is that it sets us apart from other reality competition shows in general. I mean, that's what really steps the ante up. I think that's what really will bring the viewership and make them stay because it's about collaboration, not just is it about the creative process, which is a turmoil to begin with, but then it's about this idea of collaboration and the competition. So it's a big pot that is of drama that is stirred by this lady right <laughs> here. These are highlights from my career. Prada, Versace, John Galliano. I've worked with everybody. And now, you. Oh my God, is she saying what I'm thinking she's gonna say? Your first challenge is simple. Use me as your muse to design something fantastic. When creating your designs, you should consider my story, my style, and of course, my bubbly, but sometimes prickly personality. Well, I have to say, you know, um, I'll tell you, if a person is good at taking criticism, it's a double-edged sword, because sometimes, you know, like, if you're good at taking criticism, then you learn a lot, then you can collaborate, then you can work in the world. But sometimes, if you're too good at taking criticism, you have no balls. I'm gonna use that word balls as a designer. Do you know what I mean? So, like, occasionally, when I do the mentorship in the beginning, and I say, oh, I don't know about red, I don't know. And then they fly in the face of that advice and they do red. And sometimes it's fabulous. Other times, well, bye-bye, you know? It really is a balance. It's all about tone and, you know, this kind of like inner creative process, you know? You know, at the end of the day, I've heard a lot of young designers say, that, oh, I want to be the next uh, Marc Jacobs. And I always try to tell them, well, we have Marc Jacobs. <laughs> what do you have to be is the next you. <laughs> Right? Mm -hmm. Because everybody has their own unique vision. And that's exactly, I think, what Isaac means about having balls. Because it, if, you, if you take critique and just take it, and you just change whatever you're doing to satisfy that person who critiqued you and whatever they said, then you've lost your vision. 